In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Zoom recorder in less than five minutes. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, so my last two videos were about the Zoom recorder. So I thought I'd finish out the series with a quick Zoom H4n setup tutorial. So let's do it. As mentioned, you can use the Zoom to record audio on set, including Foley, VoiceOver, and so much more. And I should mention that the Zoom H4n that I'm demonstrating on for this video has software version 1.7 boot 1.01. So if you're running older or newer software, the menus may look slightly different. Okay, so first turn on the Zoom. Do this by pushing the switch on the left side downwards and hold it in the down position for three seconds. Once you see it powering up on the screen, you can let go. I'll be honest, it takes forever. Also, if it doesn't power up, make sure you have fresh batteries in there. The H4n takes two double A's. Once it's powered up, the first thing I'd like you to do is to select your mic inputs. You can either use the built-in mics on the top of the zoom to record, which is the mic button here, or you can also plug in an external mic to one of the XLR inputs here, which would be the one and two button here. Or there's even an eighth inch jack up here, in which case you would choose mic and turn on the plug-in power if necessary in the input menu. I'm using the built-in mics on the top here, so I'll press mic. Next, let's set your pickup pattern. On each mic, there are two numbers, 120 and 90. 90 degrees as a more directional pickup pattern, picking up audio that's directly in front of you, and 120 degrees will pick up audio that's both in front of you and on your sides, and maybe a little behind. If you only have one subject right in front of you, 90 is a good choice. That being said, I usually leave it on 120 to get some of my interviewers' questions. Next, if you have a windscreen, cover your mics to reduce wind noise. I leave this thing on pretty much all the time. Next, you want to set your record volume. To do this, hit the record button once so that you can see your levels. This will put the zoom in standby mode. Then adjust the record volume by hitting the plus or minus on the right side by record level. When I'm using the built-in mic, I like to keep my levels at around 72 for voiceover. Okay, so you selected your mics, pickup pattern, and record volume. Now let's choose your file format. I suggest recording to WAV files rather than MP3s. Waves are slightly higher quality and the file size isn't a huge issue when it comes to audio files. So to choose WAV, hit menu, then use the wheel on the right to scroll down to record. Press the wheel in to select record and scroll until you see the WAV 48K 16-bit option, which is good for voiceovers or interviews. All right, you're almost there. Lastly, let's make sure you're recording in stereo, which is preferred for filmmaking. To do this, hit menu and keep scrolling until you see mode. Press the wheel in when you get to mode and highlight stereo and press the wheel in. Now you'll see the stereo light right here on the front of the zoom on, confirming that you're actually recording in stereo. Okay, your settings are set. Before you record, you should start with a clean SD card. It should say no data here. So if it doesn't, you can delete the files on your card in the menu settings. Use the wheel to scroll down to file and push the wheel to select it. Once your file is selected, scroll down to delete all the way at the bottom. When it asks if you're sure, scroll up to yes and press the wheel in. It'll then say complete. Then hit menu again to get out of the menu screens. Or you can also delete or back up your files to a computer or hard drive. If you need help doing this, I have linked my how to transfer files from a Zoom recorder video in the description. All right, so let's record. Now, when you're ready to record, remember you're gonna need to press this record button twice. Let me repeat that. When you are ready to record, you need to press the record button twice. Press it once to put the zoom in standby and press it a second time to start recording. When it's recording, you should see the numbers advancing at the top here. Hit the stop button here to stop recording 
And you can play back your audio by hitting the play button on the front. Your volume controls are on the left. And that's about it. When you're ready to turn it off, hold the power button down for three seconds to power down. And your Zoom says, goodbye, see you. All right, let's do that tip. When you're recording audio, with few exceptions, you should be aiming to record clean audio. And for that reason, you should always use a windscreen. A windscreen will cut down on the amount of extra noise you're picking up while recording, like wind or popping sounds from someone saying peas too close to the mic. Just use one. They're cheap and they work great. Ore makes a foam windscreen designed specifically for the Zoom H4n. It's only 10 bucks and it'll improve your voiceovers, outdoor recordings, and popping peas. Perfect. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye. See you.